Hi zusammen und herzlich willkommen. Hi everyone and welcome to day four of the Liebherr Baumer video magazine. Good to have you with us. Yes, you'll have noticed over the last few days there's so much to see here, so many attractions and so many highlights. And naturally, we'll be showing you a few more of those today, as always, on your site. The construction industry is changing. Many construction companies are relying increasingly on new technologies to meet daily challenges. For complex projects that require working to 3D specifications, Liebherr offers state-of-the-art solutions. Here on the test and drive site, we're showing new Leica design machine control systems from Liebherr, in 2D and 3D versions for our wheeled excavators and for our crawler excavators. A special feature of the system is that it supports the driver when he's working according to a 3D model or constructing a subgrade. There's optimum support from the machine. In practice it works like this. As the driver, you're up on the machine and you have a certain job to do. For instance, you have a 3D terrain model and you have to work on it in the field. Or you have a simple subgrade and you have to screed a simple surface with the machine. The machine control system gives you special support here by showing you how to process the material. This means that you, as the driver, are actively supported by the machine. The work is taken off your hands. The 3D system also contains GPS components, so you also have exact spatial orientation of the machine. You know exactly where you are in the world within two centimeters. Emission-free loading and unloading at the construction site. No exhaust fumes and beautifully quiet thanks to the new electric drum drive. Liebherr makes it possible. We're standing here on our ETM905. ETM stands for Electric Truck Mixer. The special thing here is that we have a hybrid concept. That means that we've electrified the truck mixer drum and placed the whole thing on top of a conventional diesel chassis. That allows us to save up to 30% diesel fuel and thus also 30% CO2. In practice, we don't have to recharge because we have a generator connected to the truck's power takeoff and the generator recharges our battery while we're driving. The whole concept is so efficient that we can't recharge the battery any longer because we no longer have the option installed. At Liebherr, we only offer that as an option now with our ETMs. Where can you find the tallest exhibit at Baumann? At Liebherr, where else? The LR1400SX really stands out. The new crawler crane is even higher than its predecessor and can also lift a whole lot more. This is the largest multifunctional crane with a lifting capacity of 400 tons that we've ever built at the Liebherr plant in Nensing. At the booth, it's about 160 meters high. But that's not the total height. You could, in fact, build it up to 178 meters. The special thing about this multi-purpose crane concept is that we've placed a lot of importance on safety. And that's made possible by all the built-in assistance systems. A further special feature of the 1400SX, assembly and disassembly are just as easy as transport on the road. Wow, what a gigantic crane, eh? I'm with Benedict Bertler right now. Benedict, if I'm a customer with a really challenging project and I need a crane for it, who do I turn to? The best thing to do is to contact Tower Crane Solutions. We specialize in planning and advising for large special projects and special applications in the tower crane sector, for mining, shipyards and also power station and plant construction. So Tower Crane Solutions takes care of all the tricky stuff. Do you have an ongoing project right now? We have very challenging projects all over the world. A good example right now is the Shanakale Bridge in Turkey. Extreme hook heights, adverse weather conditions, even earthquakes. Here too, we tried to define an excellent technical solution together with our customers. That sounds very interesting, Benedict. Thank you. And now it's time for our action of the day. Liebherr offers guided tours of its booth from Monday to Friday, also for universities and schools. Five times a day, five groups swarm around the Liebherr booth with their guides and are provided with general information on selected exhibits as well as lots of fun facts. This lays the foundation for careers at Liebherr. Super cool. Super cool, it was really impressive. Awesome, really, I liked it very much.
Alternative drives and CO2 reduction are among LeapHair's top priorities, and here in the Innovation Lab, you can experience this openness to technology at first hand. Mr. Apple, could you tell us a bit about it? From hydrogen internal combustion engines to the fuel cell, and from purely battery-powered machines to machines that work with alternative fuels, there are many ways to reduce CO2. Fascinating, and why are alternative drives only now really coming into focus? Well, the time is totally ripe for modern technology. We are a driving force there, of course. And society has also realized that we have to change something right now. And we are very happy to do that, with all our heart, so that we can look ahead to a really promising future. Okay, then I suggest we take a look around. So now, on your site is off to Spain, to Bilbao to be precise, to a construction site. That's where the popular mobile crane LTM 1658.1 is in operation. Let's take a look at it. Here, Grua Sibarondo is assembling a bridge over the valley. The big problem of this project is to save this valley, where an endangered European bison lives. And it's a question of not hindering the life of this animal. The biggest challenge of this construction has been the orography, the small amount of space and the complexity of having several companies working together. There are different construction sites and the access, especially the access and the orography. The decision to work with Liebherr on this project was made mainly because of the LTM 1650. Because of its features, especially the Vario ballast, the Vario base, and its versatility in terms of handling, maneuverability, power and so on. This crane is very good and very comfortable for the type of work we're doing here. It gives us a lot of options and a lot of power. Compared to its competitor, what sets the LTM 1650 apart is, above all, the length of the boom, the Vario ballast and the Vario base that make it much more versatile in any sector, in maritime, in industry, in any area. Wow, really impressive images there from Spain. I'm joined now by Florian Brunner. Florian, were mobile cranes of this type designed for exactly this kind of challenge? Yes, Sebastian, the LTM 1658.1 was built precisely for this purpose, to perform its services when there's little space available but high payloads still have to be lifted. It achieves this with its Vario base, variable supporting base, but also with the variable ballast we've developed, the Vario ballast. In combination with its powerful telescopic boom, the crane masters every job of this type. And what makes the crane so popular with customers? It's the machine's high flexibility. It can be operated with a telescopic boom alone, but also with different boom systems of a luffing jib. In wind power, in refineries, wherever high loads have to be lifted, this machine really excels. It's the most powerful one on the market, providing the maximum on eight axles. Thanks very much, Florian Brunner. Well, that's the end of episode four, with episode five tomorrow, of course. Also, check out our previous episodes one to three, which are, of course, available on all platforms. Okay, see you tomorrow.